Who is it? Wilkin Gunther reporting, Captain. Hey, Wilkin. Oh, I went Fadio. You got called in too, Fadio? No, you don't always I have to use his name. I the two of you in on an off-duty day. Alrighty. Princess Cordelia has graciously extended banquet invitations to the three of us. Oh, hot damn! We need the princess. What? But why us? Why not? We're the main characters, dumbass. for your successes at Vassal and more recent ops. Well, there we go. The event will be held tomorrow at the castle. Yeah, ready then. We don't have to break into this one. Oh, I'm not really good with the formal stuff. Dude, shut up. Get your damn uniform on. Now let's get going. What are you crazy? Do you have any clue how rare a chance to meet the princess is? He's an idiot. Oh, boy, about they say that House Rangrees, the Archdukes of Gallia, are descended from the Valkyra. That's if right. That's true. Princess Cordelia herself is a Valkyria, and we get an audience with her. Damn right. Well, yeah, I guess. Oh, shut up. Just don't forget to wear dress uniforms, gentlemen. I'll meet you both at Castle Rangrees tomorrow evening. You're dismissed until then. Alrighty. Let's go get drunk. My plans to go bird watching tomorrow. Who gives a shit about birds? Right now. Nobody. The castle. Hello, they don't mess this up. Hey, what? Sorry to keep you, Captain. Nice hat. Goodness, Welkin, I hardly recognized you. Yes, Captain. Alicia. Yeah, you, you look silly. Evening. She kept punching me when I told her she couldn't come with me. I'm still sore. <laughs> well, consider it combat experience. For the ladies. I'll walk in. No grass stains or anything. Very funny, Faldio. Nice hat, by the way. You're wearing the same damn hat, so don't talk, Welcome. Yeah, I never did like the look of these ugly things. I've been boycotting them. Well, there we go. Hey, don't you all look nice? Oh, nice, Portal. Thank you for doing that. Good evening, Miss Ellet. Here to cover the banquet tonight? You know it. Apparently, an ambassador from the Federation's been invited to the party. Ooh. I smell a plan to sign up an alliance between Gallia and the Federation at work here. Well, that's good. But Gallia's national policy has always been to shun alliances and remain neutral. I figure it's mostly the idea of Prime Minister Borg, Princess Cordelia's regent. Bong. Bong, Borg, Bong, Borg. What? What? He's using our youth as carte blanche to do whatever he and the other nobles want. Ah, uh, well. With all due respect, for you. the princess isn't much more than a mouthpiece for his policies now. Well, just wait till she turns 18. She'll be doing a whole lot of crazy shit. <sighs> We're about to attend a banquet. And now I've gone and lost my appetite. It's about time to enter. Let's go. Let's do it. Hot damn. Your Highness, thank you for your presence on this occasion. Might you grace this assemblage with a word? Nice headdress, lady. Honored ladies and gentlemen, if I may. I appear before you today, at the peak of joy. For now, two great powers join together. Gallia to take and over the world. Pledge their allegiance as we seek hey, to build together an eternal peace for Europa. 
Know this. The God, dude, what is up with your fucking hair? Is currently under attack and hangs by the thinnest thread you can imagine. The back seems That's like it's while calling up to a she who is the sire uh, of the Valkyra's damn headdress. And, and the damn Will front's like it's pulling around like is that not so, uh, tweezles yes. or something. I draw strength from the Valkyrian bloodline, and my heart is a repository of justice. This guy looks I am pretty near there to ask for words. The privilege of brokering peace with you, your highness, has been the greatest that honor Beethoven of my life, or and I thank you for it. With bountiful stores of Ragnite, and your strategic position between East and West, you've become the foundation of Europa. In this time of peril, the foundation is grateful, and happily and joins we will have some more money imperial please. threat before us. They just want to be sure they're the ones who control us when this is over. Yeah, that's politics Make for no you. mistake. The Federation would conquer Europa the same as the Empire. This is stupid. And unethical. It is hard to accept what he's saying. As long as we fight as one, the Empire's forces will never be a danger. It would just we be shall controlled. The Empire and rid the world of their threat. And well, the only we thought that the Zoros would be here. And, govern under our great banners. and we shall rule the world. <laughs> oh, All of this Europa. Well, there's something we haven't heard before. We're not fighting this war so we can invade another country. No, we're fighting this war to kill people. Absolutely. All we want is to keep our homes and our families safe. Now, my friend, let us put an end to all these formalities and raise a glass to honor this historic alliance. Yes, a toast to the shining future that awaits. Cheers! Cheers! And they both die. I'm poisoned. No. Where are you going? I've got a bad taste. I have to take this a shit. Garbage. I'm out of here. I'm going home, Welkin. See ya. Faldio. Ah, uh, let him go. Huh, I'm glad that's over. Eh, uh, you do nothing but whine. We should be heading back soon. I believe the exit was this way. Okay, let's go. Oh! Watch while you're walking. Oh shit, you just bumped into the princess. Princess Cordelia. I I'm oh, so Fort Lotty Dotty. Are you all right, Your Highness? I am unharmed. Except for this bruise on my chest. I cannot begin to apologize. Please forgive my clumsiness. And my stupidity to not look in front of me. Do not trouble yourself. I bid you a safe return and a good night. To hell. Your Highness, are you really in support of an alliance with the Federation? Or are we just going to let Darth Vader take over everything? Lieutenant Gunther, have you lost your mind? No, he's just a bitch and a whiner. Please forgive me. I'm aware that what I'm saying may be out of line. And could get me exiled. But I... Seeing you tonight, I got the feeling that your opinion is being ignored. What's this son of a bitch saying to me? I am still young. All political matters are handled by my regent, Borg. And I trust him, even though he looks sinister. The protection of Gallia and of the Valkyrian bloodline is my fated onus. Yeah, well. Their protection does not require my personal feelings. So I am just a drone. I have no feelings. I just like to wear crazy headdresses. 
I probably have my hair like this too. I am a well elephant. I need only live by the laws set forth by those who come before me. That's kind of stupid, lady. Make some new rules, change things. I bid you once more. Good night. Your Highness. And when she means good night, she means fuck off. Do you copy? It's me. The mark is alone. Now is our chance. Take the mark down. Put it in the vehicle. <laughs> you know the plan. Have the armored car on standby. Once I have the mark, I'll be there. And once I have my mustache looked into. Well, I'll leave you here. Good night, Welkin. And when she means good night, Welkin, she means she's gonna go home and turn the lights down real low and listen to Kanye West. Good night, Captain. I don't know why Kanye West. It's just something that she likes to do. Wait! Hold it, Vrock! And when Welkin says a good night, he's just going going to go home and whine. Yeah. Oh God, here he is. Barat, terrible news. What the fuck do you want, Mario? General Damon, what's the problem? Princess Cordelia's been kidnapped. Then why the fuck are you here? Kidnapped? It can't be. We were just talking to him like two minutes ago. Yes, it was that Federation ambassador. The spy all along. What a twist! We didn't see that one coming, did we? So we just let anybody into the fucking castle Italy nowadays, don't we? Along with her. Typical, considering the sorts of backroom dealings and extortion they've used till now. Get on it! Barack, you've got to get her back! And only us. I'm gonna go and try to look for my brother Luigi. Understood. Lieutenant, gather your squad immediately. Here we go! Yes, Captain. Hey, Casey, what is that thing? What's it look like? It's an airplane. The first test flight succeeded during EW1. Now research is going on all over the world. Well, there we go. Whoa, so this is what one of those things looks like. Man, I want up in one. Uh, once you up in one, too. Oh, hello, Leon. Chris? Hello, Vassara. Hey, Sara, you got the day off. What are you hanging around here for? Wait, let me guess. Are you building this airplane, Isara? Nah, she just wants to stand new and look important. Yes, there's still a ways to go before it's complete, but the basic construction is done. Leave it to you, Isara. You learned all this on your own? I'm working from documents my father collected before his death. Oh, well, that's amazing. Okay. I'm so impressed. Bow before her peasants. So where are you flying to once it's all done? Going on a Transgallian tour, maybe? First, I'd like to take my brother up in it. Exactly. Once, when we were young, he and I were out bird watching when he mentioned it. What? And he wished he could fly like they did. That's my goal. I've been pursuing uh, sure this project bit by bit in my free time. About getting high. That's real sweet. Isara, can I ask you a favor? Please, let me help you build your airplane. He looks like a pothead. Matter of fact, 
All three of you look like potheads. What? I want to become an engineer of your caliber someday, Isara. Kiss ass. I feel like watching you work would help me learn a great deal. Please, Isara. Yeah, well. Yeah, that's true. Hey, then can I help out too? Come you on. Want, you uh, want to be a kiss ass? Get in line. You don't mind? Of course not. I may not look bright, but I've been working my butt off <laughs> R&D for a while. Don't. Of course. Well, thank you both. All right. I think this is what sex is. That's that's the emergency siren. No, it's not. It's the wham siren for welcome. He's on the What's move. Happening at this hour? Let's ready the Edelweiss. I'm sure that whatever it is, it's urgent. Absolutely. I'll help you prep it. They can't get to the harbor. We stop them <coughs> here. Squad 7, move out. Let's save the princess. And do it better than Mario. To the harbor, full steam. The ship's waiting there to take us out of Galia. Oh, you won't be making it, bitch. As your highness, you have you come to do so. so you would have to forgive me for my hail. I had to trim out my mustache to make sure it connects to my other facial hair, of course. My mutton chops, you see. I have to look evil. Really? That's all you're going to say is... Uh. Lieutenant, it's likely the ambassador has the princess with him inside that armored vehicle. You spy on it with minimal force, then recover the princess. Don't lose them. Tank shells, <coughs> anti-tank lances, and grenades are off limits. You could harm the princess. Gotcha. Understood, Captain. Welks. Even if we can't attack with it, the Edelweiss can still block their path. Yeah. True. On a narrow road like this, there's no room to slip past a tank in your way. Sounds like a plan. Let's get the princess back safe. Well. Why do they get the first round? Hmm. Boom, 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 boom. Wow. They won't be here. Alrighty, um... Let's do this thing. Let's go with Rose. Enemy sighted. Smell you too later. Target armored car sighted. Well. Alright. Now let's go with uh defense boost. Race up and get ready to defend yourself. Um. um. And I believe it's this is an order. Attack boost. Attack with everything you've got. Gotcha. I'm on. Uh, let's do it. Double attack, we win. First round knockout. Damn, that was quick as hell, man. Operation complete. Let's get her highness out of there. I swear this is 
I'm sorry, your princess is in another armored vehicle. I swear I'm gonna knock your teeth in. <clears throat> your Highness, are you all right? I am unharmed. But this Charlie horse I have from that armored vehicle. Oh. Oh, good. <coughs> oh, fuck my life. Being princess ain't all fancy dinners, huh? Gotta be hard carrying a whole country. Yep. Can it, Rosie? That's the princess of Galia you're talking to. No, it's quite all right. She speaks the truth. As scion of the Valkyrie, it is my fate to live and die for Galia's well-being. <sighs> Wish you would care about your life. <clears throat> Are you sure that isn't just your excuse, Your Highness? On oh, shit now. What? If you label the status quo fate, you can run from the responsibility of changing it. That's what I said. You too, Welkin. Have a little respect here. Every living thing in this world struggles to live and pass life on to a new generation. They use all the instincts and animal wisdom they can just to live that one day longer. That powerful animal will to live is... I think it's a beautiful part of nature. Nah. Your Highness may be descended from Valkyra, and that may carry a burden. The old ways and traditions you follow may be important to uphold. But I hope that you won't throw away the will to live your own life because of them. <coughs> what the fuck is wrong with me today? Ugh. So you just told a 16-year-old princess to have sex. That's going, Welkin. Fucking sick freak. That's enough, Welkin. Give it a rest. Perhaps it is as you say. And I have been running from responsibility unknowingly. It is indeed mine to consider my life's role within the Valkyrian bloodline. Y Your Highness. I am most envious of your ability to speak your mind so frankly. But time enough remains to consider my role by my own will. Alrighty. Thank you for your words, Lieutenant. Welcome's weird. Not at all. Shut the hell up, Welcome. Uh, wow. Even a princess's gut will wake up and say hi when it's empty. <clears throat> yeah, it's like she's a human being. I... I am. Rumbling bellies are a clever bit of animal wisdom all humans share. Alicia, have we got anything to eat? You bet. I brought some of the cinnamon rolls I baked this morning. Here you Lovely. are, Miss. Thank you kindly. She eats it and... I have not had such bread before, but it is quite agreeable. You know, you ain't gonna stay so formal, honey. You break character. <laughs> I'm glad. No one's watching. Alright, let's get her highness back to the capital. Oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. What the fuck is wrong with you? And so Princess Cordelia returned, safe through the efforts of Militia Squad 7. Which only took... <coughs> which only it's took me two fucking welcome minutes Gunther to do. ...was celebrated as rescuer to the nation's sovereign, and awarded the prestigious Gallium Medal of Honor. Ah, I like that game. 
Lieutenant Welkin Gantha, step forward. Sir, for excellence in valor and deed, you are hereby awarded this honor. <coughs> Good. Your Highness, please bestow the medal upon the young lieutenant. Gladly. Congratulations, Lieutenant Gunther. Thank you, Your Highness. <coughs> Feel free to prick him with it. Though I have yet to reach an answer, your question drives me still. To understand my responsibility as sovereign and as a single human life. Oh, and know that one tradition already lies sundered by my will. I had the cakes huh? and cinnamon rolls to my daily breakfast. <laughs> Alicia will be happy to hear it. Lieutenant Gunther, you forget yourself. What the hell do you know? Sir, my apologies. With this, today's ceremonies are ending. Highness, would you grace us with a word? <coughs> You're fired. Lieutenant Gunther, I hope your allegiance to Gaudia stands firm evermore. Yes, Princess. Lieutenant Gunther, I am sorry. There is something more I have not told you. What's that? And she does not say it. One more video. Welcome. I'm coming in. Uh sure, it's open. Ooh, is that it? Not pretty. Bad, man. You sure made a name <coughs> for yourself this time. <laughs> You know you're supposed to wear those things. It was pure luck I was there. So have you seen the headlines? The ones that say nothing about the kidnapping? <sighs> Wonderful. That reporter tells me Borg's <clears throat> the one pressuring the media into suppressing it. But why suppress it? So Miss Elliot can't fucking do it. If word got out about what happened. Gali's relationship with the Federation would suffer. We've got our hands full fending off the Empire. We can't afford a war on two fronts. Bring it on! So he has the whole thing covered up. I'll bet he goes on acting like it never happened. Wow. Welcome, this hurts. It's painfully obvious how shaky Gali's standing is. I know the world's history is an endless chain of big fish eating little fish. It's a fish eating fish ward, honey. Both of us know the weak bow to the straw. It's history and it's nature. I bound no fucking body. I don't care if I'm weak or strong. I'll bow to no man. A minor nation like or ours woman. is an easy mark, even before you add the rift within our army. Well, well there we go. No offense. But I hope nature's wrong this time. <clears throat> I don't know what to tell you, Faldio. So I'm just going to stand here looking mopey. <laughs> 